Hey guys, it's Christina. Welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to show you how I did my own nails during quarantine with no salons from scratch. I did the tips, I did the shellac, I did the UV lamp, the whole deal. It did take me a while but I got it done and they're pretty good on there. They're very sturdy. I've had them on for like a week now and I haven't broken one. I've been doing things around the house like they're on there they're sturdy so I'm gonna take you guys through all of the steps that I did I called my mom because she is a nail professional like she's licensed to do nails and she took me through all the steps she even mailed me some of the stuff because I was waiting for it in the mail and it was taking so long but the rest of it I ordered myself from Amazon so I'll link all the products for you guys in the info box down below so she did tell me exactly what to use so that way I don't miss any of the steps and that's probably why they're on there so well and yes this is my hair I just let it air dry so doing the whole natural look and a very natural makeup like a no makeup makeup sort of look which I can show you how to do this as well so let me know in the comments don't forget to subscribe to my channel while you're here and let's get started so I wanted to start off with just one nail because I wasn't sure how it's going to last or if it would even work. So I just started on this middle finger and did all of the steps and then it worked. So I moved on to the rest of the hand. So I'm going to explain you each step in detail when I do the rest of my hand. But here I just wanted to go over all of the products that you're going to need. So I used the plastic tips and then a nail glue to glue them on, a nail file as well as a nail buffer, a bondade which is a pH balancing agent, a primer for acrylic and UV gels, a base for a gel foundation, a gel polish in the color of your choice, here I'm just using the shellac power polish in studio white, a top gel coat and of course the UV lamp. And I'm using some clippers and a nail file to file them down into the shape that I want, which I would suggest to make up your mind on how long you want the nails to be and what shape you want them to be before you start. Because once you start and you get that one nail done, the rest have to follow in the same shape and size. So I suggest you pull up some guides online. There are so many different ones on Google and get some inspiration before you get started. Also some extras that you might want to grab is an oil for your cuticles afterwards and then the second liquid which is the green one right here is the skin protector that my mom actually sent me and this helps to stop bleeding on minor cuts and scrapes which actually I did to myself on the very first nail. I made the mistake of buffing it too hard underneath so I actually cut my skin and the green liquid really helps with that. But you don't need to have it of course so just be careful and as the very last step you will need some rubbing alcohol or isopropyl alcohol and cotton pads to take off the stickiness so now let's get on to it let's get to the steps of how to actually apply the nails so first you want to buff them please don't put the glue directly on your natural nail without buffing it because it's not going to stick well the tip is probably going to fall off very quickly you want to make sure to take a buffer and slightly gently buff the top layer of your nail not too roughly but you just want to take away the shine also before I started on the nails I took each of the little plastic tips and held them up to my own nail to find the right size so that way I'm prepared before I do any of the gluing and now you want to go ahead and clip the nails to the length that you desire and again make sure that you know what you want before you start in this process also I suggest leaving a little bit extra room at the end of the nail when you clip them just to allow room for air so if you clip them a little bit crooked you can still file it down into the perfect shape this entire thing from start to finish took me three hours to do it was my first time doing it completely from scratch with the tips with the UV lamp so it did take me quite some time and I'm a perfectionist. I wanted the shape and everything to be perfect exactly how I wanted so I literally just put on a movie that I was watching, listening to while I was doing this. So I would recommend putting on a movie, a video, something relaxing, an audiobook to listen to because this is definitely a process. The shape that I chose is coffin, which is also called ballerina. 
so it's in between a stiletto and a square and as you can see in the part that I'm showing you here I like the sides to be flat so the tip that I applied naturally curves down so if you like that you can leave it just like that but I wanted to file down the very edges into a flat shape so if that makes any sense right there you can see how it was before curving down and how it is afterwards that's just my preference I like it to be flat when you look at it from the side and the shape I just wanted to be medium a little bit longer than a short nail because I considered just doing shellac on top of my nails but they were so short because they were so brittle from wearing gel for a while so I wanted a little bit of a tip and since I was doing all of this work I was like I'm not gonna make it super short but also I didn't want to make it very long because I didn't know if they would break easily or not so I just went with medium length so once you have your tip and the shape that you want you want to take a nice coarse buffer and buff at the very top of the tip where it blends into your nail into like a smooth surface so it all blends smoothly from your nail to the tip and there's no ridge you can also use a little thin file like I did here whatever works best just feel it out as long as you get it into that smooth shape that's all that matters so once we're done filing the nails, you want to apply a Bondate, which is a pH balancing agent. This is an essential first step in the chemical preparation. Make sure you apply this only to the natural nail, not to the glued on tip. And it brings the surface of the natural nail to the proper pH for optimum adhesion of gels, acrylics, nail adhesives, tips, wraps, base coats, and nail lacquer. This is straight from the manufacturer from their website and my mom actually sent me this one so she told me that I have to apply this if I want them to stay on and they have. My mom also sent me this extra bond primer which is also for acrylics and UV gels so I applied this to the natural nail part after I applied the pH bond. And then you want to put your hand in the UV lamp on the lowest setting so I put it on the 10 seconds. The lamp I'm using here is amazing. I got it from Amazon and I absolutely love it. It's a really good quality one, but it wasn't super, super pricey. So it's like a nice middle ground. And now you wanna apply your base. So here you can see why we wanted to file down the tip smoothly into our own nail so that we have a flat surface and no ridges because we're not using a building gel to build the shape we're just using a gel polish so we need that nice base with a flat surface and since I didn't have a drill I had to use what I have which is just a file and a buffer and that's why the filing part took me the longest out of everything but I made sure the base is flat so I dried the base in the lamp for 60 seconds and then when I took my hand out I actually decided I wanted to put a little bit of that base on the very edges to seal them and I put my hand back into the lamp for another 60 seconds. So now finally moving on to the color, I carefully applied a very thin first coat. You want the very first coat to be thin so that it doesn't bubble up because once you mess that one up, you have to go all the way back and start over, which you don't want to do. So I suggest you do a very thin first coat and then you can build it to the second and third coat to make the color more opaque. But you definitely don't want to start off with a very thick first coat and try to go from there because it's going to mess everything up. Also, I wanted to show you this mistake I made real quick. So my pinky finger, I got a little bit of lint on it or some sort of little fabric hairs. So instead of painting over that and having the hairs be stuck underneath the layers of polish, which would look disgusting, I just took a little bit of the isopropyl alcohol, wiped off the surface of my pinky nail, and then applied a base coat, dried that in the UV lamp, and just kept going with the color. So when the first coat dried in the UV lamp, I went ahead and did the second coat. I also made sure to seal the very edges of the nails so that nothing starts to peel off after a week or a few days because sometimes I had it happen where I went to a salon got my nails done and then the top layer like the gel would start to peel off from the tip that was glued to my nail so they would start to peel off crack or like your hairs get into it it's just really annoying so I just made sure to seal the edges and then I dried the second layer in the lamp again for 60 seconds 
So once the second layer was cured, I went ahead and applied a third coat, which you don't have to do, but I just wanted it to be a very opaque sort of white color because I did two layers of shellac on my toes actually before I did my hands. And it looks good, but I wanted it to be a little bit more opaque. So it's just a personal preference. And also it's just an extra layer of shellac. So it's going to make your nails thicker. I don't like them super thick, but since it's not like a building clear gel, it's just shellac, which is gel polish. I think three layers is better than two. And it's been two weeks right now when I'm recording this and they're still strong and I haven't broken even one nail. So after I cured the third coat in the UV lamp, I went ahead and did the clear top coat and put it in the UV lamp again for 60 seconds. And I did it twice actually as you can see just to make sure that it's cured and it's completely set. Now that the gel is all cured, you want to take some isopropyl alcohol, rubbing alcohol and put it on a cotton round so that you can take the stickiness off the top layer of the shellac. Now I'm just taking a buffer and making sure all of the edges are clean and neat. Nothing is too sharp and everything is even because sometimes the gel can leak over on the sides a little bit and it's not even. I just wanted them to be perfect. Now I'm taking some argan oil and putting that all over my cuticles. It's very good for moisturizing your hands, your skin, your hair, everything like that. So as you can see, this is the final result. I love it and I recommend doing one hand at a time because of course the shellac is going to be sticky if you're planning to file as you're going the powder is going to get all over everywhere plus you need the other hand to make sure the gel is not spilling over on the sides and the cuticles are neat it's just a whole process so I would definitely recommend doing one hand at a time if you don't have someone else doing it for you so for the second hand, it's basically the same process. You just want to push back your cuticles with an orange stick, file down your nails into a nice short neat shape, and then buff the top with a buffer, and then repeat the exact same process. I'm just going to speed through the second hand because it's literally the exact same thing. I was just telling you guys in detail what I did on the first hand, giving you some tips that I learned along the way. But here I'm just going to speed through it because this video is already getting long and it's literally the same exact thing. Now for this part where you have to cut the nails on the second hand, make sure you put each finger next to the appropriate finger on the first hand, if that makes sense. You know how they do at the salons, just to make sure that they're all even and the same length. So like your ring finger to the other ring finger, your index finger to the other index finger, just to make sure that they're all equal in length. And they look right <laughs> and not crazy so then just keep filing the nails down until you get them um, the exact same shape and size on each hand then make sure to go take a nice bathroom break before you do this part because you're about to do the sticky gel and you don't want to get any lint stuck on your nails so do whatever you got to do before you do this part so again, I'm just applying the pH agent and then applying the primer just to the natural nail part. And actually I forgot to cure the primer and the UV lamp for the 10 seconds, which is not a big deal because it's not like a hardening gel. I totally forgot to do that part and I went ahead and did the base. I was getting pretty tired at this point. It was like three in the morning. So like I said, it's not a big deal, it's just a primer, but I thought it would be a nice experiment afterwards when I already realized after I did the base, I was like, you know what, let's just see if the other hand holds up the same as the first one since I didn't cure the primer, but so far it's been two weeks, like I said, and they've both been fine. So again, I just applied the first layer of the white shellac over the base, cured that for 60 seconds, and went ahead with the second layer. Then I cured that, did the third layer of the white, and then finally I did the base. Again, making sure all the edges are sealed and all the cuticles are clean. You don't want to have a ridge that's too thick on the cuticle or an edge that's not sealed that's going to lift later. Then when you're done, take the acetyl alcohol, clean off any stickiness. And now I'm just taking a buffer and a nail file and making sure all the edges are nice and neat. 
Then I'm taking some cuticle clippers and cleaning up the cuticles and then applying some oil to them. And now you're done. Finally, only took me three hours, but I was so happy with the results. And now I'm just gonna do my own nails after the quarantine is over because I like doing them and it's a lot cheaper now that I have all the supplies. So check out the info box. I will link everything down below for you guys. So thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to check out the info box down below for all of the product links. And if you want to add me on Instagram, it's k3chocolate. So you can see my fitness videos, my makeup tutorials, just to see what I'm up to in general. Add me on there. And that is it. Love you guys, and I'll see you in the next video.